So today's workout is a four minute HIIT workout and it is the last time we are training at this lake today. Now, um, what is important, make sure you've warmed up. So just do what I'm doing here, just march on the spot, circle through the arms. And then what I'm gonna do is, just whilst you're doing that, I'm just gonna quickly go through the moves that we're gonna be doing in today's workout. So the first move, you've got two options here. Follow me on the right where you come up to standing. So you start lying down, then you come up and you add the jump if you want slightly easier variation you follow me on the left and you reach one hand up then you aim to take the other hand down to the ground so you've got two options there to choose from then your second move we have used this already this week but it's a really effective exercise why I want to choose it again and we're literally just doing the kind of pendulum swings we just go from one side to the other if you want to make it a little bit easier just follow me on the left and take out the jump now I'm ready to start training if you need longer then just press pause if you want to warm up say for another minute but if not we're going to get ready to get started now so the first move choose your position if you're doing it on the right you are going to be going for doing the standing up and then lying down so it's a bit hard to see the timer but I'll let you know you've just got 10 seconds left so let's just keep going so you jump up come back down to standing and then if you're following me on the left just reach one hand down to the ground then up to the ceiling two and one and we're done okay so the next one let's bring that straight back now we've just got 10 seconds you are marching or jogging on the spot three two and one okay all right so your next one let's bring it to you've got that pendulum swing you can do it with the jump so if you're doing that on the right you've still got 15 seconds left or follow me on the left where you're just tapping the foot out to the side so you're still keeping the feet parallel you can hardly see the timer but I'm going to tell you you've got four seconds we've got three let's go two and then one all right well done and let's now bring it straight back to your march for me for 10 seconds or alternatively if you want to work a little bit harder just keep it to a gentle jog really work through those arms two and one okay so we've got three minutes to go if you're doing the harder workout you want to be lying down on the ground then you come straight up to standing jump and then you go straight back down so you're coming up so you can see here you're working near enough every single muscle through the body you've got 10 seconds left if you're following me on the left this is great because we're working the lower body and we're reaching up nice and high so it's a good a low impact alternative for you okay and that is your 20 seconds done let's bring it straight back to that march or jog and if you're doing the march really make sure you keep good upper body posture tummy is tight land nice and softly on those heels all right let's now take it 20 seconds so we're doing this exercise and what I wanted to do which I'm really conscious of all my workouts is create moves that really complement each other this works really well with the other move all right you've got 10 seconds left this is why we're toning near enough every single muscle in your body let's keep going let's go four three two and one fantastic well done and let's bring it straight back now to that march 10 seconds and remember these workouts it's really important you put a hundred percent effort into them because they're short but they've got to be really really effective by you putting in that real high intensity all right so let's get ready let's take it up 20 seconds jump take it straight back down and reach it up and then if you're following me on the left take the hand down then reach up to the ceiling good and if you find it too hard to take the hand all the way down to the ground just aim to take it halfway down the shin and then push it back up and two and one okay that's good and let's just bring that straight back 10 seconds and you've got five let's go four three two and one all right well done so we're going to take it back 20 seconds now and of course the great thing is with these workouts we are toning near enough every single muscle you're going to be burning so many more calories but what's really good is we are presetting your metabolism so for hours after these workouts your body is going to be burning so many more calories all right you've got last three let's go two and one well done okay let's bring it straight back now 10 seconds You've got an option of either marching on the spot or jogging on the spot. Just make sure you land nice and softly. Two and one. 
Okay, so we've just got the last minute to go, so let's really go for gold with this. So we've got 20 seconds, so choose your position. If you're doing it on the right, you're gonna jump up nice and high for me, come back down to the ground, and then straight back up. It's really good for your abs, this exercise as well. Okay, and you've just got seven seconds left to go. Let's just keep going. Last time of these today, let's go four, take that three, two, and one. And let's take it straight into that march or the jog. That's good, and um, we're halfway, so we've got five seconds. Let's go four, three, two, and one. All right, and um, we're gonna bring it back now. 20 seconds, so we're taking those legs. So if you're doing it on the right, you're kind of jumping one foot from side to side. The feet are still parallel, and you're keeping the arms lifted. All right, we've just got 10 seconds to go. If you're following me on the left, keep the tummy tight as you step that foot out to the side. Five, let's go four, three, two, and one. And let's bring it straight back now for that march. 10 seconds. And again, if you're doing the jog on the spot, let's really go. High knees, four, let's go three, two, and a one. Okay. So well done. That is your workout complete. What I'm going to do now is just go straight through doing the cool down stretches with you. So take one leg behind, have the hands on that bent leg in front. So if you are not feeling challenged and you know you can always simply just repeat and do that routine again. If you are feeling challenged, then that's perfect because we've ticked every single box. Okay, so let's just take that opposite leg back. And really just feel that stretch through the back of the lower leg. That's good. All right, let's now do a hamstring stretch. So extend one leg in front, place your hands on the bent leg. And what I want you to do is flex your foot up so the toes are lifted up. Feel that through the back of the upper thigh on the straight leg. Let's now take that to the opposite side. Feeling that stretch there through the hamstrings. That's good. All right, so for the next stretch, we're gonna do that quad stretch. Um, if you need to for balance, use a chair or lean it into a wall and just hold that foot. And so you wanna feel that through the bent leg down the front of the thigh. Make sure your standing leg is slightly bent for me. And let's take that now to the opposite side. That's good. Still keep those tummy muscles tight, holding that there, feel that through, running down the front of the leg. Let's now quickly do the upper body. So let's just do a quick stretch through the top of the back, arms extended in front. Now take the arms behind, so we're just lifting through the chest. That's good. And now let's just take one arm up, so we're just going to feel that through the back of the upper arm. Okay, and let's just take that to the other side holding that stretch. So that is um, week two done of the challenge and what is exciting now for week three means that we are going to be heading off to a different location and you're going to love next week's a location. So I'm going to head on down there and I'll see you next week for week three on our new location.